Designed by Tobias Sulman under the tutelage of Klaus Bischoff, it is an elegant interpretation of the standard four-door sedan, although VW is touting it as a grand tourer. A six-blade grille integrated with slim LED headlights dominates the front end and accentuates its width, and the entire car hues closely to the lines of the Sport Coupe concept GTE that VW showed in Geneva two years ago. At 191.4 inches long, 73.7 inches wide, and 56.2 inches tall, the Arteon is roughly Passat-sized, coming in just a bit shorter, wider, and lower. Not just elegant but practical, it features a large rear hatch that can swallow 20 feet 3 of cargo, 4 cubes more than today's Passat, and folding the rear seats increases the total to 55 feet 3. It comes with a suite of available technology that places it right up there in premium terrain. In upper trim levels, there's the option of an Audi-like fully digital cockpit with TFT screens, a head-up display, an infotainment system with gesture control, and an LED lighting system with innovative predictive cornering lights. But the Arteon's most premium feature may be its driving characteristics. This is not just a rebodied Passat. It represents the latest iteration of VW's modular MQB architecture, a lightweight and dynamically impressive platform. On global markets, VW will offer a slew of turbocharged inline fours, starting with a 148-horsepower 1.5-liter TSI engine and two versions of the familiar 